we must change. And I'm going to go first. So I'll change first. Um, when we look at the world and we wonder what's happening and why is it going a little bit crazy? Why is there so much chaos? Why are we having wars? Why is there so much anger? Why is there all of that? It's because of us. It's because we haven't been willing to change. And we all are born with something within us that we're meant to bring into the world and that would cause us to be our lives to become wonderful for us to live these great lives. And then we contribute that to others, but we don't always get there because it's a cognitive process that we each move through individually and in different ways. And we come in with different ideas. We have different um, backgrounds, everything. But when we start to remember our connection to source, our connection to all that is or whatever you might call it, then we change. And then we start to put something very different into the world. And um, that was challenging for me because my change was a little bit different than a lot of others. And, and that's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be unique, but not accepting our uniqueness, not accepting our importance in the world is what's causing all the difficulty now. And I knew this. I pulled out a video yesterday that I hadn't shared. I put it up and it's called Understanding um, Our Ascension Process in the Changing World. See, because I knew where we would be. I knew several years ago, but I also knew that people probably couldn't hear me because we don't typically move until we get a little afraid, until we think something's you know really going to go wrong in our lives or in the world, but we're all doing it. And... Um, when I listened to that video, and I'd love for you to hear it again, it explained everything because I knew what was happening. See, I was told several years ago that our world would be changing. We would be going through this incredible change, and and but the purpose of it was to make everything better. But the only way that could happen is if each of us decided to own who we are, to become our authentic selves, because that's why we were born. Now, we will go through all kinds of tragedies and challenges and difficulties and failures and success. We'll all do it differently. I've done all of them. But I was listening to something else yesterday where we were meeting with several people and they were talking about, you know, these different machines that they're using to change things in their bodies, um, to heal their back pain, to do this. And, and there's another, Chris, there's another. I didn't use any of that. Now, I'm not saying that's not worth it. It's worth it for a lot of people. That is a really great thing. But the thing that I found again, and I, I shared this video because, again, this was something that I did. Um, probably a couple of years ago, at least a year ago, where I said, I'm giving you the best thing that you could use at this time, and that's your mindset. See, because with your mind, you can do everything. I healed everything in my body through using my mind-body connection, but I didn't do it myself. I downloaded all this information. Any of you who have listened to Wilhelm or who have come to a channeling session, you've, you've heard it. You've seen me access different information that I could give to others. I can answer questions, but I also don't remember it. And that was the funniest thing in listening to that um, session. It said in that session, please tell Roger to listen to this video because he won't remember. And that's true. I have healed my entire life. And I talk about this all the time. In the video, someone asked, um, I played it. Someone asked me a question. Were you, were you 72? I go, yes. Well, that was a year ago. I'm 73 now. But still... And no, that's hard for people to believe what you can accomplish. See, because I knew that we could change everything. We could change our world. We could stop wars. We could do all of that if more people would understand and love who they were. That's all that it is. And, and that I was given the work that would have them do that. That's a challenging thing for, you know, difficult thing for a lot of people to accept. But when I first did it in 20. 21 in December, people said that's exactly what happened for them. But then I didn't change because I had more that I was supposed to do. And I knew that. And I had to keep going back because, see, I have enough information. It's all mindset stuff. I've been doing it since 1988. But I didn't finish it because I said, people aren't going to understand this. People aren't going to get it, but they are getting it. And that's what I have to complete because I'm going to complete a whole, an entire year of this work, this program. And it's the most thrilling thing that I've ever done in my life. And I'm not doing anything else. This, and that's been the challenging thing. Everybody wants me to come in their thing and their group and all that. I'm doing this one thing. I'm going to bring in this awareness, 
this love for people so they can live the lives they're supposed to have and we have a very different world. See, what I was told is that the work that I have would cause anybody to become their authentic self. That's why I started years ago talking about life purpose because I'm an intuitive life purpose coach. I can see where someone should go, but I can also see the blockages that are there. But this work allows you to move through the blockages. It's not me. I didn't do it. I downloaded all of this. And if you read any of my um, Wilhelm or my um, any advice for today, you'll see that it's been over years. We grow in our consciousness over time. Now, just because I was able to access things precognitively didn't mean that I embodied it because there's I have so much work that I haven't I haven't even um, integrated into my life yet. But I have the information. I do know that. And it's already proven to work. But I want to talk about this because we're moving through some energetic times. It's going to be a little crazy for a while. And the more that you decide to work on yourself, to love yourself, to go within, and self-care is going to be the best thing you could possibly do. And there will be more that's coming through. I, I've talked about this. I brought back that first program, Four Weeks to Your Best Life, because that's what changes lives. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to stay with that. We've decided that that is the best place for anyone to begin. But please understand that's what's happening in the world. And and I, w I said, we're going to see a lot of anger and fighting and, and disagreements because we're trying to let go of the old stuff. And we can only do that if we decide to do it within ourselves. And that's each and every person. I'm doing a challenge session on Sunday. So I'd uh, I'm sorry, Monday. And uh, you can register for that. And that's going to be a powerful one. We have a new moon and my sign of Scorpio. So you know that much more is going to come through. And if you've listened to that recording about the ascension process from a year ago, you will understand so much more of what's happening now. We do that over time. We don't get anywhere instantly. We don't change ourselves instantly. And this is why it takes a while for us to own and love who we are. But it can be done. 